For many fly anglers, the journey to your destination is really half the fun. Well, for me, it's all about the journey and it's all about who you travel with. We're in Northeastern Ontario at the Tomogamy Outfitting Company. We're in search of Ontario's jewels of the north, Eastern Brook Trout. This backcountry adventure starts right now on the new Fly Fisher. A short drive from the hustle and bustle of downtown anywhere sits a pocket of land that spans a giant swath of Ontario, Canada. Northeastern Ontario is big, with big lands, big skies, and big water. Touching the northern part of Lake Huron, it spans northward into the Arctic watershed of James and Hudson Bay. Today, we are on our way to the quiet little town of Timogamy, situated in the heart of Northeastern Ontario. In the heart of Tomogamy sits the heart of the region's canoe culture, Tomogamy Outfitting Company. Strategically located for ideal access to countless water routes, Tomogamy Outfitting Company caters to those who are looking for pristine, wild adventures, either guided or not, in an area rarely seen by others. Though the Tomogamy Outfitting Company has been in business since 1926, it's only now that they've explored the Tomogamy region in search of Eastern Brook Trout. Pristine, untouched fish that may literally have never seen an angler or a fly. We're heading out on a multi-day Brook Trout adventure exploring the rivers and streams in the area. It's a bit of an adventure getting to the put-in, traveling by vehicle, boats in tow, until the road gets gradually narrower and narrower until you arrive at your access spot deep in the heart of Tomogamy. Well, we made it to this fantastic little lake. Um, it was a relatively quick drive from Tomogamy Outfitting Company. You know, two and a half, three hours, consisting of being on a main road, a highway, followed by cutting off onto a logging road and then onto an unassumed road um, that took us into a small little campsite where this is what we behold. We're gonna go see if we can find some of these jewels of the north, Eastern Brook Trout. We have everything we need ready to go, packed into two canoes. Once balanced and loaded up, it's a short 20 minute paddle to begin this brook trout adventure. Colors are starting to turn. It is beauty. This is Eric Fenkel. He's the owner of the Tomogamy Outfitting Company. Eric, where are we and what do we have going on this week? Well, I'm not going to tell you where we are, okay, but we're somewhere in Tomogamy and uh, we're going to try and catch some brook trout. Awesome. Awesome. I love wild brook trout um, and there's, there's a lot of them in the system, isn't there? There are. It's a, a nice wild fishery and uh, it's fairly productive. Awesome. So we also have a friend, a mutual friend that's going to join us later on this week named Finn O'Hara. Why is Finn joining us? Well, Finn enjoys fishing and uh, he jumped at the chance to reunite with you and yeah. learn to fly fish in the process. Awesome, I haven't seen Finn for, well, we went to high school together, so I haven't seen him for a long time. What do you say we see if there's any brook trout living in here? Let's do it. Okay. It's important upon arrival at a spot where you want to fish to take a few minutes and simply observe the water. Look for any clues the fish may be giving you before you start and disturb their environment. Are they taking off the top? Are you seeing any bigger fish chasing bait? What bugs are flying around or floating in the water? All right, so I'm gonna start with a big gurgler. Um, if there's any fish that are really aggressive and looking for protein, they're gonna come up and smash this. So I'm gonna start close to, me, close to myself in the run and slowly work my way out. Fish, first cast, bodes well. Now, the fact that this little guy took 
that gurgler right away is a wonderful sign for what's coming up on this trip. One of the things that, pe that fishing these small stream brook trout is all about is the intimacy of catching wild Ontario fish just like that. That's a fantastic specimen for a little creek and it's a great sign for what the future holds for this trip. All right, I'm gonna let him go. Perfect. So much fun, so much fun. Guys, it's your turn. Eric is new to dry fly fishing, so I step to the other side of the creek and give him a quick demo. Okay, when you're in the current, you cast 40, 45 degrees down on the current, okay? And then with a high rod, you dance it across. See, I'm just wiggling with my wrist. And you just let it swing. Another four inches out, do it again. And you just keep letting line out and doing that. And the, the eat might be a sip where you just, the fly just disappears. It could be a flick or it could just be a woof. And you can see that wake that that fly creates. Yeah. That's like candy. Ah, easy, 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 easy. Good stuff, that's a good fish. First fish of the day on a Chernobyl ant. What a spectacular fish. How fun is this? It's amazing. <laughs> it is, and we're getting a lot of action on the top as well. Absolutely. Should we get him on button and let him go? I think so. There he goes. Oh, there we go. Gone. That's fun. That was. We decide to head downriver to meet with old friends and new. We have made contact. Long time. <laughs> Only 25 years. Yeah, you look great, dude. You too, man. You haven't changed a bit. Then head back up to set up camp and settle in for the night. What we have in Tomogamy, in my opinion, is an undiscovered world-class brook trout fishery uh, that is set in one of the most beautiful backdrop and scenic uh, places you could possibly fly fish in. It's not difficult to get to, uh, it doesn't cost a fortune, and you're put in a place where uh, a lot of people spend uh, thousands and thousands of dollars to fly into one of these places, and we can drive you there and take you down, and it's affordable. So. Uh, what we're trying to, to do is to entice uh, fly fishermen, maybe some of the younger uh, set of fly fishermen uh, that don't yet have the, the, the finances available to say go to a Montana or go to a Labrador or Nipigon or one of these kind of places. And they can come here and have a very similar experience in a world-class brook trout fishery. The guys are still sleeping after a busy day yesterday, but I'm chopping at the bit. So I build a fire, make a pot of coffee, and get ready to hit the river. Good morning. This is day two of our Tomogamy Outfitting Company Brook Trout Adventure in the backcountry in Tomogamy. We had an unbelievable day yesterday. Today's a new day. The sun's gone in. It's cloudy today for now. But the best part is right behind my tent is pool number one. Yeah, so when, oh, come on, Lutton. This is very cool. I love it when I see pockets of foam in a, in a back eddy. The reason why is because oftentimes those fish don't know what's in there, but they can see the trail running through the foam. And that's what just happened here. I put the ant through the foam. The fish saw the trail, came up, jumped right out of the water and ate it. I just didn't get it, do my end of the bargain. We're not going to stay here very long. Part of the reason is because our campsite is literally right here and uh, we can fish this whenever we want. We've got a lot of river to cover. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to have a quick poke here and then jump in the canoes and uh, move on down river. Yeah, good fish. That fish was wanting this so badly 
He jumped clean out of the water for it. Feels like a good brookie too. Man, there's nothing, nothing like catching wild Ontario brook trout in the back country on a canoe trip. You just can't beat it. They're so aggressive, they're so voracious, and they're so willing to take flies. All right, let's take a look at this trout. Now, because they're getting ready to spawn, the colors on these fish are fantastic. It's one of my favorite times of the year to catch brook trout. Fantastic fish. 12 inches. Thanks, bud. I hear the guys are now awake, so I head up for some breakfast before we start our day in tomogamy. This is Finn O'Hara. Finn and I actually went to high school together. How long has it been since we've seen each other, man? It's been about 20 years, man. <laughs> I think it's more like 25. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Uh, that's one of the things I love about this sport is that it actually has the opportunity to bring old friends together in a really unique environment. You ever caught a brook trout? No, no. Guess what? Trial by fire, Let's brother. Let's do it, brother. Man, these are amazing. Give me my, give me my first pointer here, Mark. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you up with a, with a dry fly, which is a fly that sits right on the surface. Yep. It's a fly that you have to watch all the time. Oftentimes you won't have uh, a direct connection to the fly, so it's a very visual. Right. You'll see the fish come up and eat it, right. pause for a half a second, and then let them have it. Great. It's so much fun fishing on dry fly because it's all visual. Right. And that's, you know, for me, 90% of this sport is the take. Amazing. Getting them to eat is key. Okay. Let's do it. I love how life works out sometimes. Right. So not only does it go down, it also goes like left Swings to right. across. So you are literally covering the entire river yeah. as you go. Cool. Yeah. All right, there you go, hit it. Oh! Yeah! Yeah, fight it on a high rod chip, that's great. No way. Good job, man. Thanks, man. Wow. Your first fly fishing trip, you haven't been fishing for five minutes. No. First Eastern Brook Trout. How wonderful is this? You want to see it? Yeah, of course. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's so tiny. Yeah, they get a lot bigger. Yeah, I bet they do. But look how beautiful. Look at the red, the red dots covered by the blue oh, halos. The fins. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to let you let them go. Oh, thanks, bud. That, my friend, is what it's all about. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. That was awesome. Wow. Thrilling. Thrilling. We made the decision the night before that we'd stay at one campsite and do day trips exploring the brook trout tributaries of the area. So we decided to pack up for the day and fish downstream toward the big lake. Brookie, brookie. Getting there, you can either pack light and portage many of the sets, or you can line the canoes down without having to take all your gear out of the boats. There are countless rapids, runs, and riffles to entertain for days. And though the fish were on the smaller side, this trip, fish, they sure did play along. Oh, right here. Oh, it's a nice one too. Hey Finn, you wanna come net this for me? Yeah, yeah. Nice job. Good fish for today. Yeah. Now that is a fantastic brook trout. Are you gonna let him go? There he goes. What I like about it is that fly fishing is active enough to take you away from your daily problems, but it's not all encompassing that it just engulfs you. Oh, oh, you got one? Mark, fish on, fish on. Okay. Brook trout fishing in northeastern Ontario is one of the jewels in the crown of the area. With seemingly countless rivers, tributaries, and lakes to explore, you have legitimate shots at unpressured, pristine fish and locations. Tomogamy Outfitting Company's access to these canoe routes is one of those fisheries you want to keep a secret, but just can't. And whether you've never thrown a fly before, or you're a seasoned brook trout expert, the fishing is just as spectacular as the land the river dissects. 
Brookshirt are very worthy adversaries on fly, and it really doesn't matter if they're 8 inches or 8 pounds. They are coveted right here in northeastern Ontario. Oh! Oh! You got one? Mark, fish on, fish on. Okay. Fight him oh. with a high rod tip. That's a good fish, man. I can see him. Look at this. This is what you come to tomogamy for in the fall. This fish is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, what a fantastic, fantastic brook trout. Flies out. Flies out. You ready? <laughs> Come on over here, buddy. Wow. Now you know why I love brook trout so much. And tomogamy. Come for the fishing, the canoe trip, and good pals, right? Stunning. Isn't Mother Nature amazing? That is fantastic. <laughs> that was amazing. I'll never forget that. Yeah. I will yeah. never forget that. We keep heading down river and come to a large, expansive set of rapids, Brook Trout Paradise. These big rapid sets are fantastic. You could literally spend an entire day picking them apart. They've got runs and riffles and back eddies and pools all over them. These little brook trout, you know, are 12, 14 inches, and they're hiding in, in amongst the rocks and the boulders. It really is a puzzle and it's super fun to fish. Um, and to find, to find these fish and to get them to eat, it's fantastic. I <laughs> jumped right out of the water for it. <laughs> they are so aggressive, these brook trout. They are the apex predators in these streams. Let me get them up into some softer water here. All right, you wanna go behind the rock? But no matter how you cut it, brook trout in the fall are absolutely fantastic. They're aggressive, they're fixing the spawn in probably the next couple of weeks, and uh, they're colored up, and they're voraciously hungry. Oh, he's gone. Anyway, like I was saying, catching fall brookies in tomogamy is fun, it's easy, and anybody can do it. The fish don't care what your cast looks like. If you can present a fly, they're gonna eat. You know, it's not too far off from the August grasshopper phenomenon that happens when the wind blows and the hoppers get blown into the water and the brook trout get big and fat, getting ready to spawn. That's why I've decided to throw a dry fly. There, oh, he missed it again. That's why I decided to throw a dry fly is, you know, we're early September, you know, it has been warm. Maybe the hoppers are still on. Whoa, down he goes. Get him up here. Barbell's hook pops out, and away he goes. Coming up, we head back up river. It's the beginning of the end of our time here in Tomogamy. The equipment that we're using for this episode of the new Fly Fisher out of Tomogamy Outfitting Company is really quite simple. We have a five weight and a six weight nine foot fly rod for each rod spooled up with both floating lines. Uh, this is the six weight for um, dry flies, and this floating line has a 15 foot sink tip for streamers. The leader material is 4X leader, uh, tapered leader, and the flies we are using, ants, beetles, bugs, even mice. And on the sink tip, we were using streamers and zudlers. Here we go. Nice area. Nice. Good work, man. Best 
Best one of the day, man. Yeah. Look at that, they're on fire. That's amazing. Look at that. That's fantastic. In northeastern Ontario, the brook trout are wonderful. All right, man, your fish, you can let them go. Nice, good work. Gold flex, red spots, blue halo. Look at those red spots, eh? Look That's at the just, maze on her back, on his back too. It's just amazing. I'm gonna let him go now. <laughs> right in your backyard, man. Hi, I'm Mark Melnick from the new Fly Fisher Television Show. I really hope you enjoyed that full length episode. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe today. Now new episodes are going up all the time. So click that bell icon so that you're notified the next time we put one up.